another Saturday that the Lord has given us in the year 2023, another end of the week that he has brought us through, and a new weekend he is bringing us into. Hello everyone, God bless you, welcome to The Good Book Project. Here at this channel in our Chronological Bible in a Year video podcast, to the glory of God, we have reached day 147. Yesterday for day 146, we were in the Book of Psalms, where we were reading Psalms by David, now towards the end of his life, when he is praising the Lord for all of his life, praising the Lord for his omniscience, for his omnipresence, for his majesty, his justice, his loving kindness, and his faithfulness, all of these, and also a prayer to sustain him and the children of Israel at this time. Today, for day 147, we return back into the book of First Chronicles to end out the book and also read a psalm. I will pray us into the word, and we will get right into it. Lord, we just come before you today thanking you for bringing us to a new weekend. Thank you in your provision over our lives. You sustain us. You give us life. And you allow us to go through your perfect word. Lord, I pray over the word today and that you expand our knowledge with it, expand our wisdom, and expand our understanding of you. We ask for all these things in the name of Jesus. We all say, Amen. For day 147, we return into the book of First Chronicles as well as a psalm, beginning with the book of First Chronicles, chapter 26. And we're going to do this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Word of God reads, First Chronicles 26, For the divisions of the doorkeepers, of the Korathites, the Korahites, Meshelamiah, the son of Kor, the sons of Asaph. Meshelamiah had sons, Zechariah, the firstborn, Jadiel, the second, Zebediah, the third, Jathniel, the fourth, Elam, the fifth, Jehonanan, the sixth, Elihone, the seventh, Obed-Edom had sons, Shemaiah, the firstborn, Jehozabah, Dab, the second, Joah, the third, Sakar, the fourth, Nathanael, the fifth, Amiel, the sixth, Issachar, the seventh, Pulethai, the eighth, for God blessed him. Sons were also born to Shemaiah, his son, who ruled over the house of their father, for they were mighty men of valor. The sons of Shemaiah, Othni, Raphael, Obed, Elzabad, whose relatives were valiant men, Elihu, and Semachiah. All these were the sons of Obed-Edom, with their sons and their brothers, able men in strength for the service, 62 of Obed-Edom. Meshelamiah had sons and brothers, 18 valiant men. Also Hosa, of the children of Merari had sons, Shimri the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him chief, Hilkiah the second, Tebaliah the third, and Zechariah the fourth. All the sons and brothers of Hosa were thirteen. Of these were the divisions of the doorkeepers, even of the chief men, having offices like their brothers, to minister in the Lord's house. They cast lots, the small as well as the great according to their father's houses, for every gate. The lot eastward fell to Shelemiah. Then for Zechariah his son, a wise counselor, they cast lots. His lot came out northward, to Obed-Edom southward, and to his sons to the storehouse, to Shupim and Hosa westward, by the gate of Shalakcheth, at the causeway that goes up, watchman opposite watchman. Eastward were six Levites, northward four a day, southward four a day, and for the storehouse two and two. For Parbar, westward, four at the causeway and two at Parbar. These were the divisions of the doorkeepers of the sons of the Korahites and of the sons of Merari. Of the Levites, Ahijah was over the treasures of God's house and over the treasures of the dedicated things. The sons of Laden, the sons of the Gershonites, belonging to Laden, 
the heads of the father's households belonging to Laden the Gershonite. Jehielai The sons of Jehielai, Zetham and Joel his brother, over the treasures of the Lord's house, of the Amramites, of the Israhites, of the Hebronites, of the Uzielites, Shubuel, the son of Gershom, the son of Moses, was the ruler over the treasuries. His brothers, Eliezer, of Eliezer, Rehabiah his son, and Jeshiah his son, and Joram his son, and Zikri his son, and Shelemoth his son. This Shelemoth and his brothers were all over the treasuries of the dedicated things, which David the king, and the heads of the father's households, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the captains of the armies, of the army, had dedicated. They dedicated some of the plunder won in battle to repair the Lord's house. All that Samuel the seer, Saul the son of Kish, Abner the son of Ner, and Joab the son of Zariah, had dedicated. Whoever had dedicated anything, it was under the hand of Shelemoth and of his brothers. Of the Israelites, Chenaniah and his sons were appointed to the outward business over Israel for officers and judges. Of the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his brothers, 1,700 men of valor, had the oversight of Israel beyond the Jordan westward for all the business of the Lord and for the service of the king. Of the Hebronites, Jerijah was the chief of the Hebronites, according to their generations by father's households. They were sought for in the fortieth year of the reign of David. And mighty men of valor were found amongst them, at Jazer of Gilead. His relatives, men of valor, were 2,700, heads of fathers' households, whom King David made overseers over the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of the Manassites, for every matter pertaining to God and for the affairs of the king. 1 Chronicles 27 Now the children of Israel after their number, the heads of the fathers, of fathers' households, and the captains of thousands and of hundreds, and their officers who served the king in any matter of the divisions which came in and went out month by month throughout all the months of the year, of every division were twenty-four thousand. Over the first division for the first month was Jashabim, the son of Zabdiel, and his division were 24,000. He was of the children of Perez, the chief of all the captains of the army for the first month. Over the division of the second month was Dodai, the Ahohite, and his division, Mikloth the ruler, and Mikloth the ruler. And in his division were 24,000. The third captain of the army for the third month was Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, the chief priest. In his division were 24,000. This is that Benaiah was the mighty man of the thirty and over the thirty. Of his division was Amazabad, his son. The fourth captain of the fourth month was Asahel, the brother of Joab, and Zebediah, his son after him. In his division were twenty-four thousand. The fifth captain for the fifth month was Shamhuth, the Israelite. In his division were 24,000. The sixth captain for the sixth month was Ira, the son of Ikesh, the Tekoite. In his division were 24,000. The seventh captain for the seventh month was Helez, the Pelonite, of the children of Ephraim. In his division were 24,000. The eighth captain for the eighth month was Sibakai, the Hushathite, of the Zerahites. In his division were twenty four thousand. In the ninth captain, the ninth captain for the ninth month was a Abezer, the Anathathite, of the Benjamites. In his division were twenty four thousand. The tenth captain for the tenth month was Maharai, the Netophathite, of the Zerathites, Zerahites. In his division were twenty four thousand. The eleventh captain for the eleventh month was Benaiah, the Pirithonite of the children of Ephraim. In his division were 24,000. The twelfth captain 
for the twelfth month was Heldai, the Netophathite, of Othniel. In his division were twenty-four thousand. Furthermore, over the tribes of Israel, of the Reubenites, Eliezer, the son of Zikri, was the ruler, of the Simeonites, Shephatiah, the son of Mekah, of Levi, Hashabiah, the son of Kemuel, of Aaron, Zadok, of Judah, Elihu, one of the brothers of David, of Issachar, Omri, the son of Michael, of Zebulun, Ishmaiah, the son of Obadiah, of Naphtali, Jeremoth, the son of Azrael, of the children of Ephraim, Hoshea, the son of Azaziah, of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Joel, the son of Padiah, of the half-tribe of Manasseh and Gilead, Idu, the son of Zechariah, of Benjamin, Jaciel, the son of Abner, of Dan, Azarel, the son of Jeraham. These were the captains of the tribes of Israel. But David didn't take the number of them from twenty years old and under, because the Lord had said he would increase Israel like the stars of the sky. Joab the son of Zariah began to take a census, but didn't finish, and wrath came on Israel for this. The number wasn't put into the account in the chronicles of King David. Over the king's treasures was Asmaveth, the son of Adiel, over the treasures in the fields, in the cities, in the villages, and in the towers was Jonathan, the son of Uzziah. Over those who did the work of the field for tillage of the ground was Ezri, the son of Chelub. Over the vineyards was Shimei, the Ramathite. Over the increase of the vineyards for the wine cellars was Zabdi, the Shiphamite. Over the olive trees and the sycamore trees that were in the lowland was Baal Hanen, the Gedarite. Over the cellars of oil was Joash. Over the herds that fed in Sharon was Shitrai, the Sharonite. Over the herds that were in the valleys was Shaphat, the son of Adlai. Over the camels was Obile, Obil, the Ish, Ishmaelite. Over the donkeys, was Jehadiah, the Maranathite. Over the flocks was Jazes, the Hagrite. All these were the rulers of the property which was King David's. Also Jonathan, David's uncle, was a counselor, a man of understanding, and a scribe. Jehiel, the son of Hakmani, was the king's was with the king's sons. Ahithophel was the king's counselor. Hushai the Archite was the king's friend. After Ahithophel was Jehoiada, the son of Benaiah, and Abiathar. Joab was the captain of the king's army. First Chronicles 28 David assembled all the princes of Israel, the princes of the tribes, the captains of the companies who served the king by division, the captains of thousands, the captains of hundreds and the rulers over all the substance and possessions of the king and of his sons, with the officers and the mighty men, even all the mighty men of valor, to Jerusalem. Then David the king stood up on his feet and said, Hear me, my brothers and my people. As for me, it was in my heart to build a house of rest for the ark of the Lord's covenant and for the footstool of our God, and I had prepared for the building. But God said to me, You shall not build a house for my name, because you are a man of war and have shed blood. However, the Lord, the God of Israel, chose me out of all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever. For he has chosen Judah to be prince, and in the house of Judah, the house of my father. And amongst the sons of my father, he took pleasure in me to make me king over all Israel. Of all my sons, for the Lord has given me many sons, he has chosen Solomon my son to sit on the throne of the Lord's kingdom over Israel. He said to me, Solomon, your son, shall build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be my son, and I will be his father. 
I will establish his kingdom forever if he continues to do my commandments and my ordinances, as it is today. Now, therefore, in the sight of all Israel, the Lord's assembly, and in the audience of our God, observe and seek out all the commandments of the Lord your God, that you may possess this good land and leave it for an inheritance to your children after you forever. You, Solomon, my son, know the God of your father and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searches all hearts and understands all the imaginations of the thoughts. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will cast you off forever. Take heed now, for the Lord has chosen you to build a house for the sanctuary. Be strong and do it. Then David gave to Solomon his son the plans for the porch of the temple, for its houses, for its treasuries, for its upper rooms, and its inner rooms, for the place of the mercy seat. And all the plans and the plans of all that he had by the Spirit, for the, for the courts of the Lord's house, for all the surrounding rooms, for the treasuries of God's house, and for the treasuries of the dedicated things, also for the divisions of the priests and the Levites, for all the work of the service of the Lord's house, and for all the vessels of service in the Lord's house, of gold by weight, for the gold for all vessels of every kind of service, for all the vessels of silver by weight, for all vessels of every kind of service, by weight also for the lampstands of gold, and for its lamps of gold, by weight for every lampstand, and for its lamps, and for the lampstands of silver, by weight for every lampstand and for its lamps, according to the use of every lampstand, and the gold by weight for the tables of showbread for every table, and silver for the tables of silver, and the forks, the basins, and the cups of pure gold, and for the golden bowls by weight for every bowl, and the silver bowls by weight for every bowl, and for the altar of incense refined gold by weight, and gold for the plans for the chariot, and the cherubim that spread out and cover the ark of the Lord's covenant. All this, David said, I have been made to understand in writing from the Lord's hand, even all the works of this pattern. David said to Solomon, his son, Be strong and courageous, and do it. Don't be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord God, even my God, is with you. He will not fail you, nor forsake you, until all the work for the service of the Lord's house is finished. Behold, there are the divisions of the priests and the Levites for all the service of God's house. Every willing man who has skill for any kind of service shall be with you in all kinds of work. Also, the captains and all the people will be entirely at your command. 1 Chronicles 29 David the king said to all the assembly, Solomon my son, whom alone God has chosen, is yet young and tender, and the work is great. For the palace is not for a man, not for man, but for the Lord God. Now I have prepared with all my might for the house of my God the gold for the things of gold, the silver for the things of silver, the bronze for the things of bronze, iron for the things of iron, and wood for the things of wood, also onyx stones, stones to be set, stones for inlaid work of various colors, all kinds of precious stones, and marble stones in abundance. In addition, because I have set my affection on the house of my God, since I have a treasure of my own, of gold and silver, I give it to the house of my God, over and above all that I have prepared for the holy house, even three thousand talents of gold, of the gold of offer, and seven thousand talents of refined silver, with which to overlay the walls of the houses, of gold for the things of gold, and of silver for the things of silver, and for all kinds of work to be made by the hands of artisans, 
Who then offers willingly to consecrate himself today to the Lord? Then the princes of the father's households, and the princes of the tribes of Israel, and the captains of thousands and of hundreds, with the rulers over the king's work, offered willingly. And they gave for the service of God's house of gold five thousand talents, and ten ten thousand derricks, of silver ten thousand talents, of bronze eighteen thousand talents, and of iron one hundred thousand talents. People with whom precious stones were found gave them to the treasure of the Lord's house, under the hand of Jehiel the Gershonite. Then the people rejoiced, because they offered willingly, because with a perfect heart they offered willingly to the Lord. And David the king also rejoiced with great joy. Therefore David blessed the Lord before all the assembly. And David said, You are blessed, Lord, the God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all, and your hand is power and might. It is in your hand to make great and to give strength to all. Now, therefore, our God, we thank you and we pray and praise your glorious name. But who am I and what is my people? that we should be able to offer so willingly as this. For all the things come from you, and we have given you of your own. For we are strangers before you, and foreigners, as all our fathers were. Our days on the earth are as a shadow, and there is none, no remaining. Lord our God, all this store that we have prepared to build you a house, for your holy name comes from your hand and is all your own. I know also, my God, that you try the heart and have pleasure in uprightness. As for me, in the uprightness of my heart, I have willingly offered all these things. Now I have seen with joy your people, who are present here, offer willingly to you, Lord, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Israel, our fathers. Keep this desire forever in the thoughts of the heart of your people, and prepare their heart for you. And give to Solomon my son a perfect heart, to keep your commandments, your testimonies, and your statutes, and to do all these things, and to prepare the pal- to build the palace, for which I have made provision. Then David said to all the assembly, Now bless the Lord your God. All the assembly bless the Lord the God of their fathers, and bowed down their heads and prostrated themselves before the Lord and the king. They sacrificed sacrifices to the Lord and offered burnt offerings to the the Lord on the next day after that day, even one thousand bulls, one thousand rams, and one thousand lambs, with their drink offerings and sacrifices in abundance for all Israel and ate and drank before the Lord on that day with great gladness. They made Solomon, the son of David, king the second time, and anointed him before the Lord to be prince, and Zadok to be priest. Then Solomon sat on the throne of the Lord as king, instead of David, his father, and prospered, and all Israel obeyed him. All the princes, the mighty men, and also all the sons of King David submitted themselves to Solomon the king. The Lord magnified Solomon exceedingly in the sight of all Israel, and gave to him such royal majesty as had not been on any king before him in Israel. Now David the son of Jesse reigned over all Israel. The time that he had reigned over Israel was forty years. He reigned seven years in Hebron, and reigned thirty and he reigned thirty three years in Jerusalem. He died at a good old age full of days, riches, and honor. And Solomon his son reigned in his place. Now the acts of David the king, first and last, behold, they are written in the history of Samuel the seer, 
and in the history of Nathan the prophet, and in the history of Gad the seer, with all his reign and his might, and the events that involved him, Israel, and all the kingdoms of the lands. Psalm 127, a song of ascents by Solomon. Unless the Lord builds the house, they who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman guards it in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to stay up late, eating the bread of toil. For he gives sleep to his loved ones. Behold, children are a heritage of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. They won't be disappointed when they speak with their enemies in the gate. Thank you, Lord, for your holy word. We had just finished the book of First Chronicles involving all the chronicles of David and the children of Israel at this point, including Saul. Now, in this reading that we read today, we finish the role for the Levites that we had read last time we were in the book of First Chronicles. So we have such a specificity of the Levites and their the way that they were to be ruling over themselves and what responsibilities that they were given to by God. We also have a list of all of the captains and of, of thousands, captains of hundreds, over the rulers, along with the princes and the heads of the fathers' households of all the tribes of Israel at this time. We also then get the better the story now of Solomon being commissioned by David to build the temple as David gathers all of Israel to tell them this thing that David gets on and then speaks to all of Israel after everyone is gathered and then explains to them how Solomon had been chosen by God to be the one to be king over all of his other sons and over all of the tribes of Israel as and to be the one to build the temple because David was a man of war and there was much blood on his hands. So the Lord had chosen Solomon, who had a perfect heart, to build the temple. David then tells Solomon to continue having a perfect heart and serve the Lord and keep all of his statutes and his ordinances. And in the last chapter of First Chronicles, we have David, the final time, telling, uh, addressing all of the children of Israel as king and then tells them all of their success is due to the Lord, to praise him with a perfect heart. He then offers all of all of his own riches to the Lord, and then he also offers this to anyone else to willingly offer themselves and all of their things. And many people step up and they have even more provision over all of the materials that King David had gathered for the temple to be built to the Lord. And then at the end, we read that Solomon is made king a second time, and he is a prosperous king, and everyone loves him and respects him, and he rules over the land with justice. And also, we read the end of King David, who now has passed, and they, it was sort of an outro to the life of King David. So now, with the end of First Chronicles, the story of King David is now complete. And we have read so many things regarding him and so many lessons that he had gone through that we can extrapolate for ourselves to base our lives off of on how to worship the Lord, how to have a close relationship with him, how to praise him and worship him, and also how to not hold anything back from the Lord as well. And then we read a psalm, the first psalm we have read by Solomon, where he's praising the Lord and also saying that the Lord has to be with us while we build this temple of his because without the Lord, all of it is in vain. So with this, the book of First Chronicles is complete. Solomon is now king over Israel. Israel is prospering as the temple is being built. And with that, day 147 is complete. And I'm so happy you were able to make it out today to hear the word of God. Tomorrow is a Sunday. You already know what I'm about to say. Go to church. Go hear that the Lord had the word that the Lord has prepared for you specifically. Go gather 
with other brothers and sisters in Christ, because that is what we are called to do. I will pray us out of the word for today, and we will go throughout the rest of our day. Lord, thank you for your provision over our lives, allowing us to finish another book of the Bible, Father God. Thank you for all of the lessons and all of the history that we were able to read in the book of First Chronicles. Thank you for not blotting out any transgressions that the people of you had committed. Thank you for letting us see that these weren't perfect people. Thank you for seeing the lessons and everything you had brought through. Lord, I also thank for the Psalms that constantly edify our lives, that we can use them to all worship you. Lord, I pray for the rest of today and that you keep us safe. Give us traveling mercies as we go throughout the day. Keep everyone focused on you at all times. Fill us with the Holy Spirit and show us our the character of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that we could show it to others who so desperately need him. We ask for all these things and we praise you once again, Father God, for your goodness and your mercy over our lives. We thank you and we ask for all these things in the name of Jesus we all say, Amen. Day 148 is tomorrow, and I sincerely hope you return for it. Also go to church. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and to be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance toward you and give you peace. <laughs>